This is Jason with MaxAmps.com and this is your how-to video on how to storage charge and cycle LiPo packs using the Hyperion EOS 720i Super Duo 3. We're dealing with two 3-cell 5250 LiPo packs. The charger needs to have, if it doesn't already, a memory position on channel 1 and 2 set up for the packs. To make sure you're on channel 1, the little number 1 in the black square up in the corner should be flashing. Uh, once you're there, then what you can simply do is go down, make sure you're set on LiPo pack, go down again, make sure you're on 11.1 volt 3 cells, down again, your capacity 5300 milliamps, this charger goes in 100 milliamp increments, so with a 5250 pack, go up to 5300, it'll charge the pack up full that way. Your charge current rate is going to be auto set then at that point for a 1C rate of 5.3 amps. So you don't have to change that. Uh, temperature cutoff, if you're using the temp probe attached to the battery, set it to 120 degrees. It's not something that's necessary, but some guys like to use them. Next setting is your safety timer. Any LiPo pack charged at a 1C charge rate uh, will generally take 80 to 90 minutes to fully balance charge. So I like to set the safety timer for nothing more than 120 minutes. Uh, your TCS capacity is the total pack charge have that set at 100%. You want to always fully charge your packs. So the next setting, that's your TCS end action. You want that to read continue. Basically what that does is when the charge sequence has stopped, it puts the battery in a hold or a maintain state. Won't let the voltage go any higher. Won't let it go any lower. Uh, that ends then, of course, when you hit enter and shut off the whole charge sequence. What you want to do then is go down to the next setting, that's your TVC setting. That determines the voltage max for each cell, leave it at 4.2 volts. Go down to the next setting, that's your discharge rate. Now your discharge rate has to do with both store charging and cycling. It comes set out of the box at 5 amps. You can set it higher, uh, all the way up to like 10 amps, but that will depend on your power supply source and the pack size as far as how high it's going to allow you to discharge the packs at. Um, I'm going to leave it for this purpose at 5 amps, we're not going to monkey with that. The next setting then also has to do with store charging and cycling at your per cell cutoff voltage. Uh, comes out of the box at 3.8 volts, we drop that down to 3.2. Uh, low voltage cutoff per cell for a LiPo is 3 volts. We do 3-2, gives you a little bit of a cushion. You don't want to go anything less than 3 volts per cell. So we've got that set at 3-2. We go back to our main screen. And then what we can do at this point is go over, and I'm going to go over to channel 2 by selecting the channel button. Channel number 2 starts flashing. We're going to go ahead and set that up identical to channel 1, and we'll be back and show you how to basically do a store charge and then how to cycle the packs. Okay, we're back now. We've got channel number two set up identical to channel number one. Uh, what we want to do at this point is flip back to channel number one, make sure that's flashing. This is going to be our control channel. At this point then we can take and connect both batteries, plug in the main leads, plug in the balance adapter boards. We're using the blue Hyperion boards you can see here. Our Hyperion taps are standard on our packs unless you order them otherwise that into the three cell port. Okay, we've got both batteries plugged in now. So what we're gonna do is go back to channel number one. You'll see the little number one in the black square up in the corner flashing. At this point then, you can do store charge in solo mode, meaning operating the charger as two separate individual chargers. This would be charger one, this would be charger two. So you'd be doing solo mode, working each pack individually. You're gonna press and hold enter. You're gonna get your charge sequence screen is going to come up and you're going to want it to say store start. You use the up and down arrow buttons to get to that point. You'll notice underneath then it says solo mode. You press and hold enter. The charger is going to do the battery check, do the cell check and ask if it's a three cell pack. We verify by saying yes, simply press the enter button. It's going to start doing a store charge on this pack. But what we're going to do right now is show you that you can actually do a store charge on both of these at the same time using sync mode. So what we're going to do is we've got it at store start. We're going to press enter. Solo mode starts to flash. We're going to go down and now it says sync mode. We're at sync mode. We press and hold enter. 
It's gonna do the battery check, comes up good. Two, three cell packs, we're good. We press enter again, and it starts to do the store charge. Okay, once the store charge is done, either discharging or charging, depending on where the batteries were at, it's gonna sound the alarm off. We simply press and hold enter, that shuts it all off, disconnect, you're done. So now that we've gone over how to do a store charge in sync mode and solo mode, uh, we're now gonna show you how to cycle the packs, uh, which has to be done per channel. You can't do cycling setup uh, for both packs at the same time. The charger doesn't allow that. So what we're gonna do is simply go in and press enter on channel number one, which is flashing here. You're gonna use your up and down arrows and get your screen to where it says cycle start. Below that in the corner down here, you'll see C with an arrow pointing towards D. What that means is charge first, discharge second. You can flip that around, but being you're gonna be working with a pack that's at a 60% storage charge, you're gonna wanna charge it up the rest of the way and then do the discharge. So we'll leave that at C, then D. Behind that then, you're gonna see where it says one with the letter T. That T stands for times of cycles you want done. We're gonna leave it at one. You could set it to two, you could set it to three, you could set it to four, whatever you wanna do. But with LiPos, when you're doing just conditioning like this, one cycle is all you need to do. Uh, behind that, then you're gonna see a time display. That time display would be for multiple cycles. It's a cool down period in between cycles. It comes preset at 10 minutes, so if you did two cycles, you'd have a 10 minute cool down break in between the two cycles. Okay, we've got it on channel number one, which is flashing. We're set up on cycle, one time, charge, discharge. So what we're gonna do at this point with this one, press and hold enter. It's gonna do a quick battery check. It's then gonna flip over and ask if you've got a three cell pack connected to channel one, which is correct. We hit enter. And that's gonna start that one. Now, to get number two going, we press the channel button. The little black number two up here starts to flash. We then hit and hold enter, we get to our charge screen. We need to change that to where it says cycle. Okay, we're at cycle start, C, arrow D, one time, 10 minutes. Same exact settings, we don't have to change anything. So all we do is press and hold enter. It's gonna do the battery check on number two. Asks if it's a three cell pack, which it is, we verify it. Second pack is working. Now at this point, they're gonna go through, charge up, then discharge. Once they're discharged to 3.2 volts per cell, the alarm's gonna sound off per channel. You'll see on the screen when each one ends individually, it'll say end at the top with the alarm going off. At that point, you press and hold enter. You shut off the channel that's flashing first, which in this case, we just shut off channel number two. We wanna flip back over then to channel number one the one's flashing, press and hold enter and shut that off. Now, you've cycled the packs. You're gonna put them back on the shelf. You're not gonna use them again. You've just conditioned them. You need to put them both back to a store charge. So what we do then, we simply go back, start with number one, press and hold enter, go back up to store start, press enter. We're gonna do them in sync mode. Make sure you're on sync mode. This will do both packs at the same time. Press and hold enter. It's battery checking. Asking if two three cell packs are hooked up, which it is. Press enter, verify that. And now we've got both packs going into that store charge again. So in conclusion, we have actually just gone through and shown you how to store charge in solo mode and sync mode and do cycling in solo mode with LiPo packs using the Hyperion EOS 720i Super Duo 3 charger. Uh, for more information on this charger and the other Hyperion chargers and our MaxAmps 24 volt and 12 volt power supplies, visit MaxAmps.com.